now for a ride. I'm doing it for local guys in the area. I'll just stop for a minute out on the Cali XLR. Beautiful beach, as you can see, all the way along. And yeah, so basically we have stopped just for a bit of downtime before we meet up for the ride. And I just thought I'd show you guys how the board is looking at the moment. Uh, video is kind of get, going to be coming out on Saturday regarding Cali XLR, <coughs> excuse me, um, accessories, whatnot. My hair is so crazy right now. I do need to go to a barber's. But yeah, the board is looking sweet at the moment done a few modifications on it already i've got the um I don't know if you can see it down there yeah the new thread light underneath for night riding what's up simon hope you're doing well man shout out to uh, the ev side um by repping of uc content recently <laughs> giving up on boards everyone's converting into wheels i don't know what's going on here but yeah so we're over by the beach right now just wait for everyone else to arrive because we're going for a group ride today coastal session guys local to me but yeah we've taken the xlr out today and basically yeah just for some downtime i thought i'd answer any questions anyone else has got at the moment let me have it up so it's not too bad but yeah basically and uh so it's going to go for a little bit of a ride later but yeah i thought uh open this up to any questions you want uh going out um, so just fire away or ask us some questions and we'll get ourselves started while we're waiting for everyone to turn up. So first question, uh, T on TV, how does it compare to the Lone Star? To be honest, they are, I, I did like the Lone Star, or the Super Sport really. Uh, I am going to be doing a three-way comparison between the Cali XLR, the Bioboard Plutonium 2 uh, when we get hands on that. Um, and the Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport. So stay tuned for that. If you want a little overview at the moment on how it's riding, I think the XLR is an absolute weapon at the moment for range. It looks, you know, let's look at it now. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's flip the camera. It is a cream, really nice board. Look at it. It's just everything's done properly on it. The electric stabilization is outstanding. So I hope that answers a little question for you in the meantime. I'm going to see if there's any other questions you guys just for clarity can you guys hear me okay uh, if this works as a thing i might do this randomly on my channel just do some q a's everyone asking any questions they want um, about the channel or about me or even if you want to tell me about yourself you know just a bit a uh, better way to connect with anyone but it'll be in a, another calyx r video coming out on saturday so let's ask us some more questions here okay oh, okay simon's not giving up but he's just uh he will get a board again at some point interesting question for you simon on the ev side what board would you go for next? Would you go for like a two-in-one board, or would you go for? I know you did a bit of mountain boarding beforehand, uh, but would you reckon you go for something like a big, like a bigger board, like a Cali or something else like that? Drop a comment below. I'd be interested to see what you say about that. Top speeds ever as of yet. Um, so on my range test, which is on my channel, we did do 37 miles an hour. One thing I didn't disclose on that video, which I should have. I actually went out on four flat tires and I did the whole ride and I came back with about 25% left and I thought this is crazy I only did about 20 miles so what's going on and then I realized I hadn't pumped the tires so I did 37 miles an hour on flat tires so that's one thing I wouldn't mention when I do my full review is these tires are so good that if you have a flat they can hold their shape really well um, but silly old me uh, didn't realize that uh, he needed to pump the tires up to full whack I just assumed they were already pumped so that was a mistake on my part is there any other questions here? How's the comfort on foot fatigue with the hump in the middle? Now, I'm telling you now, the hump in the middle, it is. it seems a bit severe initially. Not too extreme, but you do notice it. Now, um, I think the hump in the middle, I don't know what it is, it shapes my foot literally perfectly. For a board on this scale, for long rides, it is the most comfortable deck I've ever stood on in relation to long range riding. Um, Obviously, you don't have that pump like you would on like um, other boards with less batteries, but the hump in it is really, really good. So arches around your foot really nicely. So that's one thing to notice as well. So Simon says here, uh, thinking either mounted board as mostly off-road, but I've seen a few bigger cruisers that have me interested. 
Um, so with the mounted boards, for me, honestly, it is only Apex Predator. It's by far the best board I've ever had in regards to mounted boarding. Um, I actually love that board. It's probably my favourite. A couple of guys saying they're on their way to the ride now, so I'm going to see how much longer I'm on for this stream. For So please drop, me, drop any questions below and I'll answer them while I'm here. Um, I do need a haircut. My beard is getting crazy. My hair is getting way too long, but we'll get on that soon. Any further questions? Let's have a look here. Okay, the W concave. Is it W? Um, yes, it is a bit of a W concave actually. But what's nice, I'll, I'll flip the camera so you can see better. Let me flip the camera. And as you can see here, I'll get low. You see it's like a little bit of a concave here, just a slight one. It's pretty, you can see it a little bit better in the light there, but it's not too severe. But it really concaves the foot nicely. But as you can see, which will be on Saturday's video this week, I've added the dope grip as an extra. And if you haven't used Oak Grip before, it is by far the best grip out there, for sure. It was a really comfortable ride um, anyway, but with the Dope Grip, it's completely worlds apart with the um, with the, step, with the uh, cushion, really. Especially if you're doing long, long range. What I'll do, I'll speed down one second, and I'll show you the stabilisation, because I'm sure everyone wants to look at that. Right, so, <coughs> as you can see here, so the uh, electric stabilization is this module here. And so that comes into here. And what it does is it compresses, try to focus these little wings here, you see them? So they do compress ever so slightly. And as a result, it does stable, it does become a lot more stable at a higher speed. Um, but um, yeah, it's really, really impressive. And this is what the innovation we've been looking for in regards to e-skating recently one thing to make note of uh, the bushings are really really nice really adjustable so if you could just adjust this little screw here then let's flip you back oh yeah i've also got the sl fx which is on this week's this video so i'll try and turn this on yeah so that's that that turns on nicely yeah um i have ordered another one because two isn't enough unfortunately let's flip this back answer some more questions from you guys um but yeah that's an example of the stabilization but it is the future by far so i'm gonna see if there's any more comments here Let's look at comments here there we go okay what's good rider oh yeah what's up lewis thanks you for joining in from nyc How maneuverable is it compared to the SL50? Does it carve well? Now the XLR, what's nice about the stabilization is at low speeds, let me get you a higher here, take my water bag off. Um, you can have the maneuverability that you want. And then as, the, as you speed up, it does get tighter. So you do have that maneuverability all over the place. So you, at low speeds, it's really good. I had it initially stock when it came out. Um, I didn't tighten up too much. But with previous history with speed wobbles and accidents, I want to make sure it's tighter. So I've tuned this up a little bit tighter than normal. Um, so it is a little bit tighter than it would be normally. However, it still carves really well. But if anyone out there rides bigger boards, you'll understand why a different carve. Most people come from like an Evolve or a two-in-one kit uh, board, like a Meepo Hurricane or an X-Way Atlas or anything like that with um, double kingpin. You do need to do full body movements on boards this scale. Um, so we'll go from there. So look at any other questions. I want to answer all these questions before I leave you guys today, before everyone turns up. I have some decks like that, but the middle looks good. Yeah, the middle on this board looks outstanding. I've looked at that now. Um, no block there, Zachary. I'll show you here that that centre of that board is just absolutely cream. And I'm really glad that NS took my advice. We've put the signature on it. looks so much nicer. It really does. Do you ever, does it ever completely eliminate speed wobbles? Uh, to be honest, I think um, no board will ever eliminate speed wobbles. Um, I've never experienced anything on this thing. Um, it's been really, really stable at high speeds. And the reason why I would say never eliminate any possibility of speed wobbles is because I went into my LaCroix Nazari um, uh, thinking that it was speed wobble proof from what is advertised initially. And as a result of that, I had an accident because I was way too confident with the stability of trucks. Always be cautious, um, but I've had no speed wobbles as of yet. It's really nice and good underneath the foot. 
Uh, yeah, it is a tank. It is a massive, massive, it's the heaviest board I've ever had in my life with that massive 18 s 8 p metal gear drive, largest motors, 63-100 motors, metal hub, everything's massive on the sports. It is an absolute weapon to ride. It is hard to ride in the concept of it is a workout, um, but in a good way, so you feel really planted. Okay, are there... No, I'm not going to do any drilling of any shot blocks at this point now. Um, I, uh, what uh, Vapor and Eastgate has said is some of the XLR riders are putting holes in the uh, bushings to make it a little bit softer. Um, but to be honest, I'm quite happy with it is now. I haven't t dialed it in how I want it perfectly yet. I want to do this a very gradual process, not push myself, but it's come. It's going really well so far. Let me look at any other questions. And I'm going to leave it a little bit longer, guys. I'm going to come off in a second. So get your last uh, few questions in there and I'll try and answer them before we're done. The Flex is nice. It's not like anything like a Boosted or an Evolve or even a Lacroix bounce. It's a very um, stable board, but not super flexy. I can't comment what one I ordered because I generally can't matter because they come in two stiffnesses. But it was, um, it is a really stable board, so there's no issues with um, like bouncing too much or it's like a brick underneath your feet. It's a really nice, comfortable deck, in my opinion. Yeah, the deck is really nice. Uh, right, the guys are going to be here very shortly, so I'm going to just wind up in a second, get your last few questions in. Vaping these guys done 45 miles an hour on these Cali already, and it's stable, it's very stable as hell. I've only just started tuning it for higher speeds right now. So, um, yeah, I'm only so fast on that. And there's actually no flex on the deck. It's still, there is a minimal flex. It's not like sanding on a carbon deck. So expect some flex. So, yeah, guys, just get your last few questions in. I'm going to sign out for this second. There's going to be a video on Saturday regarding um, XLR um, content with a load of um, accessories that I've modified with the board. And from what I've done, it's really, really nice. So, cut. Um, couple little things so i've got another question here um from zachary again um this is for oh, sorry not zachary do apologize i'm going to go back to zachary uh, i've got one for uh, tell on tv what's the major advantage over the lone star it's just better <laughs> to be honest in a short sentence but yeah i'm not obviously not going to be immature like that best things about the board so far i'm going to, have to move hands because my arm is cute is that flipped yeah the flipped the switch arms because mom's getting dead right so the main advantages of the Kali XLR <coughs> is the amount of stuff that's standard on the board and that's one thing I didn't like about Lacroix is like you got the board and obviously you market it really well where it's just a little bit more you get a little bit more you get a little bit more and it all comes out this is just one board you only buy one thing and that's it so the metal hubs come as standard the front and rear lights come as standard metal gears come as standard the electric stabilization is amazing it is so so nice and you can't describe it to people unless you try it yourself so that's one thing as well um the concave is wonderful the deck it looks like a finished project i'll flip it one more time because i haven't shown it in a little bit but the stability is it look it's just such a complete board the lights are fantastic the hubs are amazing the gear drive as well are fantastic um what i will do as an extra because some of you guys may not know this it's important that you do so let me just put you down for one second Get this out of my bag. So, this is a spare complete wheel. Really nice, massive. Look at the sides of that thing, it's massive. Now, if you look at the back, can you see those little holes? You see these holes here? Now, these holes, I'm going to put this down, are there because they just go onto the um, gear drive itself with one single nut. So if you ever have a flat tire, you can literally just take off one nut and then you can put a new wheel on in the space of a minute. So it's super convenient. Right, guys, last, last question. here, guys, and I must come off because I'll go for me up the guys for this ride. Okay. Uh, Zachary, yes, I want a Stooge race board. It is the one board left that I really, really, really want to try. I have raced one of them in Brussels, which was um oh, one of the guys uh, what is his name uh jeff um david bond uh, bond i believe it is and uh, for the netherlands and he was an absolute rocket um last question here and then i'm going to finish here is a different animal than of a video including the excel boards is literally nimble to taking me now it is an epic scene and vaping scale is right um it is an absolute fantastic fantastic board and to be honest um an amazing job and i do think well worth the money and to be honest these boards are so expensive now 
But one thing you need to consider that every single one of these boards, every single component of this board is brand new. That's another thing I like about this board over the Le Quoi before, is every single element is new. Every single element, except for maybe the gear drive, but then we've got metal gears as well. But yeah, um, if anyone's got anything to say, I'll say thank you very much for joining this stream. If you have enjoyed this stream, drop a comment below and I'll maybe do more of these in the future. But it's just a little bit of fun, really, just while I'm waiting for everyone to turn up. Um, drop a like below if you want me to do more of these. And depending on the feedback, guys, I'll do more of these um, in the future. Um, just ask some questions, guys, connect with you. And basically, um, would you like me to do these out on rides as well? Um, where like we all we meet up with everyone we talk about who i'm out with for the day um if you do want to do that then drop a comment below and we'll do that it's all back to you guys you know it's whatever you guys want to do so it's your it's you know it's your channel you know and how you want to be but i'll say thank you guys for watching you guys take care i'll see you